What up, YouTube? Big Body Cars. And man, I know it's been forever since I updated y'all with something, but I figured I'd just let y'all know what's going on during quarantine time. Uh, still got the SSs, both of them. Still got the Escalade. It's my buddy's car just put a system in, which actually is the exact same sub and amps I have. And just got through putting a lithium battery bank that I built in mine. Figured I'd do an update video on it. Uh, nothing has changed on the car, I don't think, since the last time y'all saw it. Still the Camaro Dash, Camaro Radio Kit. All my LEDs still work. Uh, same system. Minus that. That's a lithium battery bank. That's a 64 amp hour battery bank. I uh, got the batteries from Battery Hookup, I think it's called. There are 32 of these individual cells. You take eight of them and put those in parallel and then run them in series, four banks. And that gives you 64 amp hours at 12.8 volts, I think. Don't quote me on that. But it charges, well, no, actually it's 13.8 because the car charges around about 13.6, 13.8. And to make sure that I separate it, because most people I've been looking online has actually been using these separate from their front battery. You see, I've still got the Orion 2500.1 and the Memphis 4 channel. Uh, and the Scardio VFHs or VFLs, I think they are, the one right above the Evils, but below the ZVRs. And to keep it separated from the front battery because I read a lot online people said that this battery or a AGM battery would pull that battery now I've got a 500 amp battery isolator and these are fairly simple to hook up this is your auxiliary battery which would be my one in the trunk this is my main battery from the car you've got a ground here at the top and you've got 12 volt switch there and it doesn't matter which one you use for ground or 12 volt it'll work either way but I'll tell you guys since I've done that Versus before, I had a access power. Is it access power? Had a D31 battery in the trunk. It's about a four or five hundred battery. I couldn't keep it above 12 volts. Since I added that back there, I hadn't seen a drop yet below 13 volts. Motor running, car on, car off, doesn't matter. And it charges back up to 13.8 pretty quick. And like I said, that's not bad to build. I think the batteries themselves was about right at 300 and something bucks for 32 of them. They're $9 a piece on a battery hookup. These plates here, you get these. It's a kit from a guy called Jag. And they're 50 bucks for the kit. It says it's like 30 something bucks. But once he does his shipping and tax, I don't know how that works. It comes out to about $50 even. And this BMS here was about 16 bucks on Amazon, which is actually the one out of my original lithium battery bank I built that didn't work with for crap. It's pretty strong, but it wouldn't do good with this amp. But I know I can give you guys an update in a while. Like I said, I didn't do nothing to the car. Same wheels, same motor, same setup. But now I do tell you this, I've actually got a set of long tube headers and I got a Brian Tooley Racing Stage 3 cam for this car, for the LQ9, the truck cam, and I've got the Brian Tulleration push rods. The only reason I got the cam and the push rods is because I've already got B-Hop springs and I've got new lifters for when we put the Z06 cam in here, but the Z06 just isn't getting it. I'm a little more pep and I want a, more of a loaf to it since this is not going to be, you know, no daily driver by no means. But I hadn't updated you guys in a while. I did not did much more to these cars. I've got uh, new subs for Zach's car. Some scar, pretty the lower level. I think they're like a hundred bucks a piece. And I got them a pro box, one of those round line boxes that go in there. And I just was waiting on the wire, and there's my wire there. I'm gonna try to hook that up this evening. And this car back here, I actually, ironically, had the other half to this box. This was a 412 box I cut in two. This car back here has actually same subs, same Orion amp, but he's got my old DT. My excess power was the name of that battery. My excess power D3100 in there now. And it does fairly good. And his car does real good, actually. I don't know if it's because he's got a higher amp alternator than I do, but he holds 12.5, 12.8 volts. Pretty simple. It's about 14 when the bass isn't up really, really loud. But it does pretty good. I still think mine's louder. I'm not going to tell him that, but pretty good bit of a deal. So, I haven't updated you guys. I haven't put a video. I know that's not much. Not a whole lot to talk about. I haven't done a whole lot. 
Like I said, I'm going to pretty soon here, I, I found a lady that can do upholstery. I think I'm going to get her to do my Camaro seats. I don't know if I've showed y'all those in a while. But I've still got my Camaro seats. And I found a lady that can do them. There they go right there. And that's my son's subs I got to put in. But I've still got those seats. And there's the back seats. And I found a lady that can do them. So I'm going to get those done. Y'all tell me in the comments what color you think I can go with. I'm thinking about either doing the seats back blue. Or she said she'd do the whole interior. She didn't give me a exact quote. She gave me a pretty decent price. Think about letting her do the whole car. Uh, blue, the color there is now, if I just do the seats. If not, thought maybe a tan color. Or maybe like an ox blood red. I don't know which one would go better with the white. You guys tell me what you think. That'll be a good little something y'all can throw in the comments if y'all got any ideas on that. If I do the blue, it'd be a lot simpler. I could dial the carpet again and pretty much call it done. But if I do the rest, heck, we got to dial the dash. We got to dial the door panels. Because like I said, none of this stuff is in bad shape. Every bit of it's good. The factory interior, but I want to do something a little different. But again, just ranting on about my little plans. And sticking with this quarantine thing. If... Again, I just wanted to give you guys an update of where I was at and what I was doing, man. This has been a Big Body Cars video, man. Y'all have a good one.